Hey guys, this is Jaden from iGLBreak.com and today we're going to be taking a look at a cool new premium Cydia tweet that was just released called QuickShoot Pro. So essentially what this tweet allows you to do is take photos by simply double tapping the camera apps icon on your iPhone, iPod Touch or iPad. So if you ever if you've ever missed capturing a moment on your device's camera because you were too slow and you had to actually launch the camera app and then take the photo, this tweak would have been perfect. So I'll show you guys here. Right now I have it configured to take a photo using the iPhone's rear camera when I double tap the camera icon. And give it a second there and you'll see that it took the photo just like that. And if we go into my camera roll here, you'll see there's two photos of the backdrop that I used to film this video. And this tweak actually does have quite a few settings I can go into here. So I'll scroll down here till we find the Quick Shoot Pro tab. And you can see right now we can en enable or disable the tweak. We can choose whether to use the rear or front facing camera. We can change the video quality because with this tweak you can actually set video capture shortcuts using activator actions. And you can also do the same thing for uh, photo, taking a photo as well if you don't want to double tap the photo apps icon. Uh, sorry, the camera apps icon. You can actually configure an activator action. So we can also choose whether to enable or disable flash mode, enable HDR, and also anti blur, which is essentially going to make it so when you double tap the camera apps icon to take a picture, it's going to wait for your device to. Uh, to be still for up to five seconds before taking the photo so that you actually get a good quality photo and not a blurry mess. If we scroll down here, we can also select an activator op action to bring up an options window that will allow you to configure some of the options I spoke of previously, which I'll show you guys in a second. And if you don't use the default camera apps, uh, the default camera app to shoot your photos, you'll be glad to know that you can also choose other icons to for this uh, for shortcut to take effect. To, so if you use Camera Pro, for example, you could choose the icon and enable that functionality in the Camera Pro app. I think I have it installed somewhere. Uh, if we scroll down here, uh, maybe it's up there more. But anyways, guys, you can select whichever photo. Yeah, there you go, Camera Plus, sorry. And, and if I enable this, the gesture would work on Camera Plus. So I'll show you guys the quick options window that I was talking about before. I selected a short hold in the home button to bring that up. And as you can see, it just allows us to turn on HDR, switch between the front and rear facing camera, and whether we want to turn flash on or not. And I'll show you guys here how I enabled it with Camera, Press, camera Plus previously. So if I double tap that, it's actually gonna take a picture. And you can see there the little picture animation showed, so it indeed worked. So guys, this has been the Quick Shoot Pro Studio Tweak. It's definitely a neat Studio Tweak, and if you've ever missed uh, taking capturing a moment, then you may want to invest in this tweak to make sure that it doesn't happen again. It's available in the Big Boss repo for a price of 99 cents. This has been Jaden from iJailbreak.com, and for more Studio Tweak reviews and tech news, make sure you check out the site.